Well, veterinarians in Texas are using 3D printing to help animals. Tom Miller has the story. Are you so beautiful? <laughs> Peek around the building. We've got Rebel, um, who is our ambassador raccoon. And you'll quickly realize this isn't your average veterinary care clinic. And this one I've also raised since she was a baby too. Inside and out. This beaver came to us from Waco. You'd be forgiven if you mistook this. Every animal that comes in, I'm just in awe of. For a scene from Dr. Doolittle. <laughs> Fitting right in is Polly. <laughs> The duck first came here from Leander with a partially missing bill. She loves people. She's happy all the time. She does not want to be away from us. Amanda Reynolds is the assistant manager here at All Things Wild Rehabilitation in Georgetown. Are you hungry? She didn't want Polly to go through life like this. We are able to take them into our other software here. The Rehabilitation Center connected with Southwestern University student Ryan Andrade, who took a 3D scan of Polly's bill and is building her a new one with a 3D printer. It was really something that when we were getting into it, it was sure we'll see what we can do. And then as the project kind of gained momentum, it became more of a surefire thing. Surefire thanks to people in the community like Jeff Manley, who started fundraising for Polly, selling these stuffed ducks. It means a lot for us to help animals in need, and in all things wild, we're just amazed at what they do to help natural wildlife. He's helped raise more than $500 to pay for her care. <laughs> Part of a community working together to help Polly and keep her happily quacking for years to come. <laughs>